Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today's video is going to be a pack with me. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, which you should, you wouldn't know that I went on a little weekend getaway with Cody. This past weekend, we went up to Whistler. If you're unfamiliar with Whistler, it's basically a ski area. Um, we don't ski or snowboard, so we didn't do any of that. We just basically stayed at the beautiful Nita Lake Lodge and it was amazing. We had the best time and I wanted to just kind of do a little pack with me to show you guys what I packed for a quick little weekend getaway. If you guys are going on spring break soon or you're also planning a little vacation, hopefully you guys find this helpful. I will most likely be posting a little recap of our trip and our getaway over on my IGTV. So again, go check out my Instagram if you want to see that video and other posts from the trip. And in the comments of this video, let me know what your favorite packing tip is. What is something that you always do every single time you pack for a trip, whether it be a long trip, a short trip, let me know your best packing tip in a comment down below because I think that'd be fun to share with everyone. Also too, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications. I would really appreciate that. And let's go ahead and jump into the video. Whenever I'm packing for a trip, especially something as short as a weekend getaway, I try and be really realistic with what I'm actually going to wear because I can pack so many things and have like so many different options and outfits and things like that. But realistically, I'm not going to be wearing all of these things because for one, I'm going to be staying at the hotel most of the time for this weekend in particular. And it just isn't realistic to bring a bunch of outfits. Whereas like if I was going to somewhere warm and sunny to shoot content purposefully, then I would want to have a lot of options, but that's not this kind of trip. So I just packed a couple pairs of jeans, a light wash, a dark wash. The dark wash can be worn as an evening pant as well if we wanted to go out for dinner. And then I chose to bring my, um, I guess it's a pleather shirt. It's from Zara and it's really nice because it is a little bit fancier, but it's also a little bit thicker. So where we're going, there's going to be snow. It's going to be cold. This is a great option that dresses you up a little, but also keeps you warm. I'm bringing my disco pants to wear with that if I decide to do so. And obviously this is a very bold choice, but I decided to bring a dress. I didn't end up wearing it shouldn't have brought it but it was nice to have the option if I wanted to get a picture in it or something that was kind of like my extra outfit if I wanted to you know get a picture so just didn't end up happening but I had it just in case and then I also wanted to bring a sweater I was really torn whether or not to bring like a chunky knit sweater or just a basic kind of thinner sweater like this because it is still snowing up there it's still ski season for the most part but it is getting a little bit nicer so that was a great option I actually ended up wearing that to dinner one night so that was really great and then I always bring um, a Spanx option to wear with any dress or skirt that I end up bringing. So I always have to have that. And of course, if you are packing for a bigger trip and you need a bigger suitcase, definitely recommend using packing cubes. I really didn't need them for this trip and I actually need to get some new ones because mine are falling apart a little bit because they have been so used. So that is kind of um, how I would normally like to organize my suitcase. But since it's such a small trip and it's also a very small suitcase, I didn't really find that necessary. One of my biggest suggestions is always to bring a comfy outfit for the trip home, whether you're driving or you're hopping in an airplane or taking a ferry boat, who knows? I don't know, but always on the last day of any trip, I'm always so tired and I just want to wear something comfortable. So I always pack a legging option for that. Also, it's nice to have if you are going around the hotel and you just need to throw on something quick. I also threw in a band t-shirt, my Jonas Brothers concert shirt, because I love having an oversized shirt. It's usually what I end up sleeping in, but again, it's just nice to have as an option to throw over a bathing suit or whatever you want to have that casual option. I am bringing a pair of pajamas. Normally, I would just have my larger t-shirt and like a pant option like a sweat pant I don't know why but I always get so cold in hotel rooms and I sleep with like a hoodie sweatpants and socks on at home so when I'm going to a hotel and the room's even bigger and harder to heat up I definitely need to have like lots of layers and always bring those types of things to keep myself warm because I hate being cold and I cannot stand sleeping when it's cold it's just something about I don't know I just can't do it I get way too cold <laughs> On the side, I'm just putting in some thick socks. Normally I would put those into a pouch, a packing cube, or even tuck them into shoes if I was packing those into my suitcase just to save space. It's a good tip. Um, and yeah, I also like to pack my bras and underwear and a bathing suit into like a little pouch again to keep things organized. This just helps everything stay good and there's no like zip pocket on the side of the suitcase to hide that stuff. So it's good to put it in a pouch and tuck it away. 
For jewelry, there is a lot of pieces that I wear every single day, so having a travel jewelry case makes my life so much easier. This one is from Melanie Ald. You guys might have seen this on like my Instagram travel video thing that I did a couple months back. I love it. it there is two sections. There is like a little mirror, but it has like a little pocket for bracelets, bigger section, ring section, and then little um, squares on the side for like earrings and other things like that. I find it so easy to travel with. I also bring it when I'm taking uh, pictures and stuff. It's just so great. Highly recommend getting one of those. Moving on to toiletries. Normally, I would just go ahead and pack this toiletry bag into my suitcase that's already pre-packed with all of my samples. Everything is pretty well good to go. I do keep a Lush container with some cotton rounds in it though that I do refill just so I can use my proper micellar water and I don't have to like break out from trying something new. Really great. Love using this container to keep those. Um, when I'm on the go, but because I did want to downsize a little bit more for this trip since it was only two nights, I really didn't need to bring all of my toiletries. I just kind of picked out the things that I knew that I would need. Um, most of the time, honestly, like I don't really wash my hair when I go for like this short of a trip, but I always do like to bring my own shampoo, conditioner, hair treatments just in case because there is nothing worse than using bad quality hair products and then not having like any serums or detanglers. I know that's like such a first world problem, but like I really can't stand that. And that's usually why I don't wash my hair when I travel. Also because then I have to bring my blow dryer and it's like just this whole thing. So anyway, I do like to bring those travel options just in case I want to wash my hair. Um, and then I also want to bring some skincare stuff. I know that Biosense stuff is really great and works well for me So I brought a couple samples of those that I got at like a Sephora point reward thing I also have like a body wash and a lotion just in case the ones at the hotel, you know, aren't for me also to I since I'm filming this or, you know, recording this voiceover after I've been on the trip, they had Loxaton products at the hotel. So I was like totally set and the stuff was really, really, really great. And I thoroughly enjoyed using the stuff that they had provided, but you just never know when you travel. So I do like to bring my own options. And also too, I always like to make sure I have proper skincare because my face gets so dry, especially when I'm in like a skiing climate and stuff. And my biggest regret of this trip that I can look back on is bringing a proper moisturizer. So I did bring one, but it just wasn't as moisturizing as I needed it to be. So I always try and bring like my full size moisturizer if I possibly can. Um, bring a couple sample perfume options and I decided to move the more skincare stuff into my makeup bag just to save space so I could fit all of the other toiletries into this little pouch. When it comes to skincare and traveling, I do like to make sure I have a proper cleanser. You guys saw my makeup remover, that doesn't change. I also like to bring a eye cream, obviously moisturizer, we just talked about that, and then some type of serum. And then I also like to bring a spray. This one from Amora Vita is amazing. And I usually, if I'm like flying, I'll have it in my carry-on with me, but I love bringing a facial spray and it really, really hydrates my skin and can like refresh my makeup, uses as a setting spray, really great. Moving on to makeup, I decided to pack this new Cheek Stars palette from Benefit because it had all the colors I wanted in it, including Hoola. I also brought an eyeshadow palette just in case I decided I wanted to wear eyeshadow. Sometimes I don't really do that and I just like put blush and bronzer into my crease. I am bringing a full size foundation because I have been able to find a foundation that I like to wear more often and that is the NARS Radiant Longwear. Also had to bring my full size primer and powder. Those are both from Laura Mercier. I love them. I've really like, I feel like I've done really well to have a everyday makeup routine recently and I did an IGTV video on this, but I've really been sticking to it and I really like it. So I have my two mascaras that I pack and always use and love. And then my eyeliner, a lash curler because I cannot go anywhere without it. And then this is a new product for me. That is an hourglass concealer. I've really been enjoying it. We got some brow products, some lip products, can't go anywhere without a lip mask or like a really hydrating lip balm and a mini one from Bite Beauty is so perfect. I'm the kind of person that sticks a lot of lip products in my purse, so I kind of just travel with whatever is in there already. And I did add a couple lip liners that I use occasionally, a couple lip glosses and a couple lipstick options just in case I wanted them. And this makeup travel container is amazing. It's from Base, I think, but Base, I don't know how you pronounce it. It's Shea Mitchell's brand and it's awesome because this little, um, compartment here is magnetic so you can keep it in the container or you can take it out and it has a zip pocket on the opposite side but this section is for brushes and it has a little flap so it doesn't get the rest of the bag or your other makeup dirty which is so so smart 
personally just love the design of this makeup travel case. I love the crack of detailing. I love all the compartments. Everything was just like very well thought out when it came to this. So I was very intrigued when I first saw it and I was like, I think I could definitely use one of these in my life. Here's the zip pocket on the other side. I currently have a tampon in it. You can obviously put whatever you want, jewelry if you want to keep things minimal. And one of the selling points for me was the mirror that came with it. I always travel with like a separate mirror, possibly one that lights up. It can be a little extra. So this was really, really great and came in so handy when I was traveling and I think it's just a really great additive to have to any makeup bag and yes I did um, use my new label maker to create that label on the front because I was bored and I like labeling things so tucking that into my suitcase that is pretty much it everything fit pretty perfectly in here the only thing that I had to pack in a separate bag was like my parka and like a scarf and things like that and an extra pair of shoes but for the most part that was everything Moving on to my other bag because I never just bring one. I always overpack and so I always end up bringing a separate bag with some other things in it. Obviously this would be my carry-on if I was flying but since I'm just going driving it was really just my extra bag so in here i like to keep my laptop because i usually do bring that on trips as well as an ipad sometimes i will bring my headphones i also had my curling wand in here that is because i simply just forgot to put it in my suitcase it totally would have fit but i just decided to throw it in here because this bag is so dang spacious this is brand new to me from herschel and i absolutely love it i was in desperate need of a new carry-on bag and this one is perfect it legitimately fits so much stuff i'm so excited to fly with it because it is so big and it's perfect so I tried to fit all of my things in here and I definitely had some extra room I really don't leave the house without my hydroflask these days so I have that packed with some fresh water I also tucked into the front pocket some wet wipes some tissues and some hand sanitizer because you know times are tough out there and um, definitely want to stay sanitary when it comes to traveling especially I packed a tube because we're going to somewhere that's snowy and I could need it if I'm cold. And then this is like my little travel pouch that I don't unpack. This has like essential oils and gravel and earplugs and Advil, sleeping mask, vitamin C, um, electrolyte drinks, just like everything packed into one bag that I constantly travel with. So I just tuck that in because it has all the medication and things that I could possibly need if something were to come up and me to get sick. It's all in there and it's all ready to go so throw that in and then the last thing I did throw in was my computer charger but that was pretty much it I can't really think of anything else that I would have thrown in here um, this would be a great time to put in snacks if you were traveling I always bring snacks with me I had those in a separate bag because we had a lot um, but yeah I do like to top off my bag with some snacks and as you guys can see that was a lot of stuff that went in there and there's still so much room in this backpack Hopefully you guys found this video helpful if you are going on a little weekend trip or going away for a little vacation in the near future. If you are going on a trip or going for spring break, let me know where you're going down below because I would love to hear where you guys are traveling to. I love you all so much and I will see you in my next video. Have a great day. Bye!